Hello everyone and welcome to this big Summer Game Fest Summer Nintendo Direct. We don't know exactly what it's going to be because the main event, E3, has been cancelled. Uh, and it seems that some kind of replacement is going to take its place. We just don't know exactly what and when. Yeah, it's weird. I mean, at the point we're at right now with Summer Games Fest, I feel like it's obvious Jeff wants to create a semi E3 replacement, right? Like he wants to have these really big announcements, but I don't necessarily know if they're going to be there because I kind of feel like we're at a point where Xbox, Nintendo and Sony are all kind of off doing their own things, right? We've come to expect Nintendo Directs like three or four times a year. We know they're usually around each quarter, so we can assume there's probably still going to be some type of summer Nintendo Direct around the time that E3 would have happened and that Nintendo is going to do their own thing with a Direct, but I, I still feel like it'll be around the same time, right? Yeah, I think so as well. The thing about Nintendo this year is that a lot has been delayed. We first got the delay of the sequel to Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild to spring 2023, then the Mario movie was delayed to more or less the same window, and uh, most recently Bethesda also delayed um, their two biggest projects, Starfield, also to, to spring 2023. So it's obvious that uh, the big scale projects that have been in development for a very long time are not ready but luckily this year is just full of content and one of the reasons why we it might take a little bit of time before we get a summer direct is that we already have the release dates for uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 3 and Splatoon 3. And actually, on top of that, too, you know, with Xenoblade and Splatoon switching spots, I do wonder if maybe before we even get another mainline direct, if we end up getting like a small direct focused on Splatoon. Because you know how they always have the Nintendo World Championships or the Invitationals or whatever for Splatoon and for Smash Brothers prior to E3. I'm, th I'm thinking that maybe in the week leading up to E3, we're probably going to get like a Pokemon Direct because that usually happens the week before normally too, where we get new information. We obviously have a new generation of Pokemon on the way for this holiday season. So I feel like they might want to do that separately. So I'm sort of expecting like first week of June prior to when E3 would have been, we'll probably get Pokemon news. And then I'm actually actually thinking that maybe instead of a mainline big summer direct during what would normally be E3 week, that maybe we get like a big Splatoon direct and it gives us a lot of information about that game. And then maybe the mainline summer direct, since it doesn't have to happen around E3, maybe that happens at the end of June or early July instead. We just got the trailer for Strikers. Fire Emblem's coming out real soon, right? Xenoblade's coming out in July and then Splatoon September. We know all the rumors going around with projects that have, uh, are in development but not announced so i have a feeling that july might actually be the month for the summer direct because they want to get out battle league and uh free hopes out for unless they don't have a lot of other stuff to announce in the holiday season i think you and i are both in agreement that there's at least one more big title that they haven't talked about that's going to be a big holiday game for them obviously they don't need it right it's a pokemon year so you got a new generation of pokemon and breath of the wilds coming out in spring of next year so i feel like they could rely pretty heavily on that they don't necessarily have to have another big project and you know we've discussed this before i always thought that there was a possibility for another mainline mario game this holiday season two to coincide with the release of the film but now that got delayed too so i mean maybe the mario game is just going to be mario and rabbits and that'll be that and then we've got pokemon you know bayonetta is probably going to be an october game that seems very halloweeny and you know that could end up being it but i still don't think that's the case i think there is something big they're sitting on yeah, and I think like Nintendo, if they are not going to go for Summer Game Fest, uh, then they probably want to have uh, an exclusive spot in July, mainly because they have their, their big games start coming out beginning from that month. So it's like the perfect window to say early July, uh, have a big presentation and announce the a uh, proper test ride of Splatoon, give us uh, an even deeper dive into Xenoblade Chronicles 3, plus announce the other projects that they are working on. I think uh, we are getting into a situation where uh, June might slip out, and the reason for that is that they have already started the marketing for those games that are coming out that month. Uh, and I also think that there could be a little bit of a collision here, especially when it comes to Fire Emblem, because we have heard that the rumors of the fact that Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes is not the only Fire Emblem project in in development, which means that uh, they probably want that game to be out first before announcing the next. Project. Agreed. And when is the exact date for Three Hopes again? It's June twenty fourth. So maybe after that gets released, you're right, that's when we'll end up getting an announcement of whatever the next mainline Fire Emblem is or the remake game or whatever's 
you know, whatever they've been cooking up. The other thing I think that's important to talk about too is that if we do get anything Nintendo related at Summer Games Fest, I think one obviously is going to be big third party titles. So I feel like, you know, Sonic Frontiers is all but a given at this point to be there. Um, and that's obviously something that appeals to a lot of Nintendo fans. But I also kind of feel like if they wanted to, something that would sort of be on the level of like a Smash Brothers character type of announcement, obviously nowhere near as hype, but something that's DLC for an existing game. I could maybe see Nintendo giving Jeff Keighley an early look at the next Mario Kart DLC because we've got that battle pass coming and that would probably be around the same time, like around summertime. So I think that could maybe be something they'd throw his way or like another trailer for Strikers or for Fire Emblem or Xenoblade or something like that. Something that's already been announced. Maybe even Bayonetta. I think Bayonetta is a game that I could kind of see fitting into that Summer Games Fest thing if they wanted to have another showcase for that but didn't have a full mainline direct to do it. And I could see them throwing that in there. So recently while I was traveling, I've been listening to the audiobook of uh, Disrupting the Game by Reggie Fee. Fisema, uh, former president of Nintendo of America. And he said a lot about that. Uh, he worked very closely with uh, Jeff Keighley and as soon as he resigned as president, the connection between Nintendo and, uh, and Jeff has been not on the same level. But apparently there have been some talks between Nintendo and Jeff. We just don't know how far they have gone. The thing is, with this Summer Direct, is that I think Nintendo just wants to have a spot of their own stand out and instead in June uh, I think we could see like a Pokemon Direct just like we I, I see very much this year turning into a new 2019 instead of being the new 2017 after the delay of Breath of the Wild the Mario movie being pushed to 2023 so you're gonna get your uh, big games before Pokemon and in a way it might be even better than 2019 but it's not going to get to that 2017 levels that we talked about before the year started. No, but I mean, when we talked about them, it seemed likely, right? Because we had Xenoblade, we had a Mario movie and we had Zelda on the way. So, I mean, that was, you know, set up to be that. And then even better than that, too, because we had a lot of other resurgences of other franchises. We we're getting spinoff games. We already knew about Mario and Rabbids. So, I mean, there, yeah, there was a lot of potential going into it. But I think, you know, things just shifted around. I think it's, it's still a relatively solid year for Switch owners. And of course, we're getting a full new generation of Pokemon, which when we first started thinking about this year very early on, that wasn't even in the cards. I think a lot of people were not expecting, I certainly was not expecting a full new generation this year. I thought that would have been next year. So, you know, things shift, but I'm obviously still very excited for what the future holds. Yeah, and I think th this is the main uh, the direction that Nintendo also wants to go. They want to bring back Zelda, obviously, but they want to bring it out at a time when they can announce also other projects. So I'm sitting with this feeling that since May is... Yeah, we are pretty much now halfway through May when recording this by the time the video goes up. Uh, we're already well into the second half of May. I'm sitting with the feeling that we're going to get a Pokemon Direct early in June, just like we did with um, uh, Sword and Shield back in uh, 2019. Uh, or Nintendo has decided that, uh, hey, Pokemon Company, maybe you would want to have this Direct or uh, Pokemon Presents during Summer Game Fest because everyone's attention is going to be on you. This is our biggest game this year after Zelda was delayed and we want you to be the spotlight. Mm -hmm. Uh, interesting yes. and i know jeff keely would be very happy well, of course he'd be thrilled if pokemon was going to work with him definitely um yeah i i don't know like yeah tying it around summer games fest time i it, it would naturally anyway right if it was going to be an early summer um whether or not they brand it as like a pokemon presents during summer game fest but yeah when you think about like how little we actually know about that game as of right now it got announced we only know the starters we have not seen the version legendaries we've not seen any other pokemon usually by this point there'd be like one or two koro koros that would have come out where we would have seen like the new regional bird or we would have seen uh, something and we haven't we haven't seen anything. We just have that first trailer to go off of. And so with it coming out this fall already, it just seems like a, a relatively short turnaround and they have a lot of information they have to give us. I mean, on top of that too, this is the first main generation open world Pokemon game, right? There's an argument to be made that Legends Arceus was the first mainline open world game, but this is the first new generation, full new generation that's being built around that mindset. So I... Uh, yeah, and it's also the fact that it's based on the Iberian Peninsula, so Spain and Portugal. And uh, if I think those two places, I think summer. I think that it could be a perfect fit for Summer Game Fest, even though the game is coming out uh, winter. So um, if they really want to set the theme, mood, 
the Pokemon company will know exactly to show up at the summer game first. Uh, and I think Nintendo could also plan the final marketing for um, Battle League, Mario Strikers and uh, Fire Emblem Three Hopes. And then after, immediately after those games are out and we have entered summer proper, you can have an actual summer direct that they just titled Summer Direct and have it in the first week of July uh, and focus a lot on Xenoblade Chronicles 3, showing a lot of gameplay. We already have our taste, f first taste of gameplay, but I mean more like exploration gameplay, telling us what kind of is this a proper open world game like Xenoblade Chronicles X is? Or is it areas, just like we have had with Xenoblade Chronicles and Xenoblade Chronicles 2? Then uh, everything that is new in Splatoon 3. Uh, so I think that that is a good build up. And then you have all the other projects, which we're going to talk about in the next video, which is all about the new announcements. Because the first video in this build up series is obviously because of the uncertainty. Will we have a summer direct? I think yes. Yeah, we've, I think we both but agree I we will. New announcements, which we will get to into the next video. So be sure to leave a like on this first video, which in many ways detailed that yes, we're gonna have a summer direct. We're probably not gonna have to wait until September to have uh, a new presentation with big new announcements, because for Nintendo, summer is also a very important window for for promoting their games. All right then, that was all for this one, and we will see you in the next one when we will be talking spicy new announcements.